I began a process, I literally went back to school because when I finished my undergrad, I was supposed to do my graduate studies in experimental medicine. I decided to start the company. I thought if a company goes well, and I'll stay with it. If not, I go back. Well, the company went well and 18 years went by, sold the company. I went back and did my experimental medicine degree and um, started at UBC in the faculty of medicine. Oh, you can't do this. You're, you know, you got a family, all these kids are studying full time. There's no way you can compete on a bell curve. Well, I had 91% average in the medical curriculum as a mature student with a family and, you know, from a distance running my business. And then um, we had medical discoveries in the, in the field, in the brain research center. I studied at the University of British Columbia and um, published my papers. Uh, prepared my manuscript and dissertation, passed with with um, high standing, the comprehensive examination, which leads you then into preparation for dissertation. Everything's done. And um, lo and behold, then began another battle. And I look back, you know, and you think these battles in life, you know, you you, 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 you can take a moment, you know, a day or two to go, okay, crap, this is terrible. Then you got to just buck up and go after it. And that was my personality. And the battle really was the university saying, hey, wait a minute. You don't own that technology that we just developed before you graduate with your PhD. You, we, by, we, we, the university own it, not you. Mm. And I went, wait a minute. That technology was in the field being sold to people who needed it to empower their lives five years even before I came here. And I, and I owned the technology. Now you guys are trying to take it. This is actually a common problem in the university setting. And so, you know, I said, look, I'm not your typical student. I, I know what my rights are from a legal standpoint, but more so from the ethical, moral, and, and human being standpoint. It's not going to happen your way. That, be, that then initiated another battle that shaped a human being that I am today that is not the same human being that went in. And that is someone who realizes right and wrong and will stand for right. I don't care what the consequences are because right is right. And so that those traits then get embedded in the work you do in the future because I opened up my own pharmaceutical research organization and said, okay, I'm going to study all these technologies the way they should be studied because the allopathic pharmaceutical industry does not want to study natural medicines the way I study them, using their own principles to study them, to validate them. Because once you validate the natural compound in the context of the activity of the pharmaceutical compound, and you, you demonstrate that the efficacy is similar, if not better, without the side effects. Big companies have big problems. Right. 